Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today's adventure is at Crater Diamond State Park. This is one of the only places in the world where the public can search for real diamonds in their original volcanic source. Crater Diamonds is a one-of-a-kind experience that brings people from all over the world to Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Visitors to the park search a 37-acre field. The eroded surface of a volcanic crater for a variety of rocks, minerals, and gemstones, and any rock or mineral you find is yours to keep. You may bring your own mining equipment to search with. No battery operated or motor driven mining tools allowed. Or you can rent tools from the park. At the park's visitor center, you can view real uncut diamonds and interact with exhibits illustrating the area's unique history and geology. At the Diamond Discovery Center, you can learn more about rocks and minerals found at the park and how to search for diamonds using various techniques. Diamonds come in all colors of the rainbow. The three colors found at the park are white, brown, and yellow. Amethyst, garnet, jasper, agate, quartz, and other rocks and minerals naturally occur at the park. Park staff provide complimentary identification of rocks and minerals found at the park, as well as diamond mining demonstrations and other interpretive programs. More than 35,000 diamonds have been found by park visitors since Crater Diamonds became an Arkansas State Park in 1972. Notable diamonds found at the crater include a 40.23 carat Uncle Sam, the largest diamond ever unearthed in the United States. Okay guys, we are at Crater of Diamonds State Park. And this is one of the trails and the campground is back in that way. But there is a geocache hid somewhere off in here. Of course, I won't be giving the location away, but somewhere in here is a hidden geocache. So for all y'all geocachers, there are a few here at Crater Diamond State Park. Well, the first one we went to find is gone. And in the comments, it said the park ranger told the people that it was gone. So maybe we'll have better luck on this one. Got a few trails within Crater Diamond State Park. There's Little Missouri River Trail. It's a barrier-free ADA trail, day hikes. It's a pretty easy hike, 1.2 miles. It takes about an hour of hiking time. The trail winds its way through the woods from the campground to the scenic Little Missouri River. The trail then loops back through the forest to the trailhead. All right, we're in the campground section, and this is a trail. What was this, the river trail? Something like that. Yeah. And there's another geocache hid down this trail. Not only is there a geocache, I also, I also think where the geocache is, there's a Pokestop. So. If you play Pokemon Go, there's something to do. And, and if you geocache. There's something to do. But anyway, we're gonna walk this trail. It's a nice paved trail. Some signage on it. Yeah. Pretty feather. So, and there's, what's that blue thing? There's some exercise stuff, so when you're ready to walk this trail, you can stretch out, kids can play. Then we got a sign here. This is for sure the poke stop because it's called what for animal signs along the trail. So that's your poke stop. It even has a sign here that tells you how to stretch. But as you can see, there's another sign down there. This is a, just an awesome trail. Catch up with you later. 
Prospector Trail is a 1.2 mile trail. It takes about three quarters to one hour hiking time. It's easily traversed. Gravel Trail offers visitors a first hand view of the park's unique geological features. Rock outcroppings along the west side of the trail are uncommon for this geographical area. An entry fee to the diamond search area is required to hike this trail. Then you have the Wildlife Observation Blind Trail. This is a 0.2 mile hike and it takes about 15 minutes. It's easy. The short and easy traverse gravel trail leads visitors to Wildlife Observation Blind. White-tailed deer, gray squirrels, armadillos, numerous bird species and other wildlife may be observed from the blind. Crater of Diamond State Parks includes a tree-shaded campground featuring 47 class AAA campsites, water, electric, sewer hookups. Most of these sites have tent pads and five walk-in tent sites. We found the geocaches that were within the park. We headed toward the Little Missouri River side as there are a few geocaches placed on those areas. And if you keep traveling, looking at the geocaching map, you will see that there are several geocaches within the area. We had an awesome time looking for geocaches and exploring the park. But most people go to Crater Diamonds Park to dig for diamonds. And it is a 37 and a half acre plowed field. The eroded surface of an ancient diamond-bearing volcanic volcanic crater. Visitors access the diamond search area through the Diamond Discovery Center, an engaging interpretive center featuring exhibits and a push-button video cost that illustrates the three most popular methods of searching for diamonds. The first diamond was found in 1906 by John Huddleston, a farmer who owned a portion of the Diamond Bearing Crater at that time. After spending some time finding some geocaches down some gravel roads and exploring some of the area, we headed home and as we went home we passed Old Washington Cemetery. We thought we'd stop in and take a quick look around. So stay tuned for that video to come up soon. We hope you enjoyed this video and you can get out and explore Crater of Diamond State Park and find some geocaches. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button while you're here. We truly appreciate it. Have a great day.